Vice President and concurrent Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Gigona, and the Secretary Domingo, my dear A, colleagues, friends, and gentlemen. Allow me first and foremost to extend heartfelt condolences to the Castro family members here present. On this occasion, I truly feel emotionally stricken by the sudden demise of my dear friend and colleague, Pex. I was informed only yesterday that he had passed away last 11 March. I regret that I had not been able to visit him during his brief confinement at the hospital. For I consider Pex as one of my truly good friends in the department. <coughs> Although I was aware of his lingering illness for some time, I knew he was up and about until a few weeks ago. He fought his illness bravely with a strong will and wanted to continue for as long as he could. And wherever his services may be needed, whether inside or outside the DFA. There is much I respect about this man. I was privileged to know him as a professional and a close, loyal and sincere friend. We passed the foreign service exam the same year. Uh, we were then referred to as foreign affairs officer and foreign service officers. Pacifico Castro was the quintessential professional diplomat, a competent public servant with integrity and scrupulously honest with the use of public funds. He had the courage of his convictions, wisdom, and I dare say, a passion to serve out of genuine love of country. He had qualities we direly need in our leaders and public officials at all times, and maybe more so during these times. He was, moreover, a consummate scholar and very knowledgeable about international affairs. His contribution to work the Department of Foreign Affairs has become can never be diminished with the passage of time. Pex Castro was admirable as a professional diplomat. His accomplishments are too many to state here in this short discourse, but the archives of the DFA will bear witness to them. These accomplishments should serve as an inspiration to present and future career foreign service officers. Ambassador Castro served as resident Philippine ambassador to Jordan, Algeria, Morocco, and Canada, and as non-resident Philippine ambassador to Cyprus, Tunisia, Senegal, and Lebanon. Before his retirement, he was Philippine ambassador to Brussels. Much earlier in his lifelong career, Ambassador Castro served as a junior officer in our embassies 
at Paris, Geneva, and Seoul. Before becoming Deputy Minister or Under Secretary, Pex was Director of the Foreign Service Institute, where he authored and edited many books and articles on RP foreign relations. He had a thorough knowledge of foreign service regulations, which he applied when he was Deputy and Acting Minister consistently without fear or fable. He was a learned and cultured man and had the gift of languages. Pax Castro was the first career diplomat who attained the rank of Deputy Minister or Under Secretary of Foreign Affairs. Subsequently, he became Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs before the end of the Marcos regime. In all the positions he served, Ambassador Castro performed very professionally, even if he was part of a discredited, a fast discredited regime at the time, because he was wise to diplomatic intricacies and he exuded somewhat fair with confidence. Viewing the Department of Foreign Affairs have his knowledge and expertise about our Mindanao or Southern problem, and our government could certainly have made more use of such expertise. Let me now, with your kind indulgence, share just one most unforgettable recollection based on personal experience and knowledge about what kind of person was Pacifico Castro. Pex Castro has, had always, has always been sincere and a true friend to me. He never told untruths. I can, ne I can never forget this may uh, recall the pleasant memories for me, but I have to mention it because this is how I have come to admire this man, despite his association with people I really dislike. Me. He never me. He never told untruths. I can I can never forget this may uh, recall the pleasant memories for me, but I have to mention it because this is how I have come to admire this man, despite his association with people I really dislike. I can never forget how he risked the ire of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos when he took up the cudgels for me when I was being persecuted in the department. He spoke in my behalf to Secretary Carlos P. Romulo and was confronted by no less than President Marcos about why he was friendly to me and was supporting me when I was being persecuted. In my presence, General Romulo warned Pex Castro to keep away from Padilla, lest Pex endanger his own career. Can you beat that? I heard that the General said it. Uh, just the two of us in front of the General. Pex Castro politely replied, I just wanted to be fair and give Padilla every chance to defend himself. I shall never forget my friend Pex and what he stood for as a decent and courageous person. Goodbye, Pex. 
and God's speed in your, God's speed in your journey beyond the great divide to the eternal kingdom. May you receive your just reward for all the good you have done in the name of decency, duty, honor, and love of country. Farewell, my dear friend. <laughs>